Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a digital logo reveal animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you don't want to create this entire animation from scratch, then you can consider checking out this template. In order to change the logo, as you can see, if I just scrub forward in this timeline over here, then you're going to notice that we don't have our logo inside this comp. So in order to change the logo, you need to go to this logo placeholder so just uh, simply double click on it to open it up and then you're gonna notice that you have this solid color layer on the top if you enable that and you're gonna make sure that your logo is within this uh, box over here the green box so i'm just going to quickly find the logo over here all right so i'm just going to drag and drop this to choose off logo and just um, you know replace it with the layer which is at the bottom and i need to just make sure that this logo is uh, within this box over here so i'm just going to resize this like so and then if you go back to your final animation comp you can see that your logo will be updated over here and just make sure that in the logo placeholder you hide or disable this video track um so yeah in the final animation you will see your logo over here updated and that is pretty much it then you can just render out this animation and you are good to go so to get started, first of all, you need to drag in your logo that you will be using. So in my case, I'm going to be using this BMW logo. So if you view this, this is our logo. I'm going to right click on it and rename it. Let's call this logo. And while this node is selected, you can then click on this very first icon that says background. Click on it and this will add a background node and as well as this merge node. Let's view this merge one. I'm going to right click on it and uh, click on swap inputs and that way you'll see your logo in the front after this logo node i'm going to add in a transform node click on xf and on this transform node we can just reduce the size like so now we want to create a, a texture for our logo reveal animation and to do that we are going to be using a background node let's drag that in view this this is going to be black and i'm going to make it white for now click on ok and then add in a transform node to this let's view this transform too and i'm going to create a simple animation on this so let's just move this on the left side like so uh, create a keyframe on center x y then go to the last frame you just simply click on this icon and it'll just jump to the last frame and then you can just change the position so let's just bring this onto the right side like so let's make sure it covers up properly like that and uh, if you take a look at this animation it's really simple it's just a simple linear wipe animation and after this transform 2 we are going to add in a displace so search for displace and click on add and on this displace node we are going to add in a fast noise which is this second icon over here so just simply drag it over here and just connect it up with this displace node so now you can see this is our fast noise let's just split this view so let's just look at our fast noise on the left side and our displace on the right side so now if i make some changes in the fast noise you can see that the changes will take place on your uh, displace node on the right side so let's just also go to our displace node and go to and select the type to xy and then we are going to change the refraction i'm going to just increase that so something like that and I'm going to go to fast noise again and increase the scale amount. And yeah, you can just play around with these settings. I'm going to check discontinuous. And uh, that way we have a more organic looking uh, fast noise over here. So we have this simple animation. Great. So after this, displace one, we are going to add in a mosaic blur. Let's view this. And this will turn your fast noise into these uh, blocks so uh, this is going to be our texture right so under this mosaic blur you have a few other options such as pixel frequency you can make these uh, blocks smaller or bigger by using this pixel frequency slider if you want to create some 8-bit retro animation you can you know crank this up to whatever value that you want but i'm just going to keep it to the default value for now which is 100 and then you have these uh, cell shape uh, options as well you can pick hexagon or triangle as well uh, let's just select hexagon for this and you can see that we have this really nice animation uh, all right so we have our first texture let's just connect these two up 
so connect merge one with the most egg player and let's take a look at this merge two so this is how it is going to look so what we want to see is the texture and to do that we have this background um, you know messing up with the texture so just go to background one over here and make sure that it is transparent and then you'll be able to see your texture so there we have it our logo is on the top and the texture is in the background which is exactly what we want so in this merge tool we're going to select that and change the operator and set that to in so now you'll see that your texture will start revealing your logo if i set this to if i disable the chuck and delay you can see it better so something like that so the next thing that we want to do is we want to create a it's kind of hard to explain um, but uh, what i want to do is uh, you know extract a little this texture so if i just show you this is our texture and i want to just extract this portion out of it from this entire entire texture over here so let me just show you what i mean by that so what i'm going to do is i think there is a better way to do this but uh, what i ended up doing was uh, just copy all of this over here control c and i just pasted it as an instance control shift v i'm just going to connect these up like so we have this merge 3 over here let's view this and on this merge 3 we are going to change the operator and set that to n um, now our texture will take the shape of our logo now it can be any logo it can be in a circular or rectangle or cylindrical any shape so it's going to take that shape um, and after this i'm going to hit Control shift v again paste another instance and on this one we're just going to connect it up once again we have merge 4 so now if we view this merge 4 you can see that again we have the same thing but this time we are going to change it to stencil all right so now you can see that we have just this only this portion of our texture in the scene and uh, this is exactly what we are looking for also i'm just going to de-instance this uh, last transform node over here i can right click on it and click on de-instance but i noticed that even if i de-instance and make changes to this node these changes will affect these two above transform nodes as well so let me just show you if i just um, do some changes in this third transform let's just uh, de-instance this first and if i now make some changes for example let's go to the spline over here and click on zoom to fit now if i change this keyframe let's just move it forward like so um, so you can see that our keyframe is at the 10th frame but if we take a look at the instance uh, transform 2 then again it has the same keyframe value uh, you know the first keyframe is at the same location and on transform 2 as well it's at the 10th frame which we don't want so um, even though we de-instance this uh, transform node it still copies over to these uh, other transform nodes i don't know why uh, let's just undo this so instead of de-instancing it by right clicking and click on, on the instance what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, delete this node and then I'm going to copy this transform and paste it down. I'm going to click on this uh, node over here and then hit Control V. So it will be pasted like so. And now I'm going to go to Spline and again I'm going to select the displacement keyframe. And then on the very first keyframe, let's just take a look at Merge 4 over here. I'm just going to move it forward like so. So I'm going to move it forward by 10 frames right so it's kind of hard to select i don't know why but let me just do this again select it and move it forward by 10 frames all right so now you can see that we have this uh, nice texture over here then you can combine everything we have over here with our logo so we're going to have the logo and the texture as well so to do that we have to take the output of our merge tool and connect it up with merge 4 like so this will result in merge 5 so if you take a look at this you can see that we have both of our logo and the texture animating which is exactly what we want now what i want to do next is um, let's take a look at this merge 4 over here and we have these uh, different shades of gray over here 
so i want to colorize these uh the, these uh, shapes so uh, i found out that there is this node called pseudo color so if i just click on that maybe there's a better way to color up these uh, um these uh, texture over here or these shapes over here uh, but but i ended up using pseudo color so if i just view this this is how it is going to look then i'm just going to change the phase and uh, we are in the red channel then we go to the red uh, green channel change the phase and then do the same thing with the blue channel as well so that we have different colors in our in our uh, shapes over here so you can just you know keep on changing it to your liking so maybe you want some more red into this scene but once you are happy with the result then i'm just going to take this merge four and connect it it as a mask to this pseudo color so that the color is only applied on these shapes so now if you take a look at this animation we have um, these uh, colors appearing in our logo animation great so now after this after the pseudo color we can add some glows to this so such as we can add a soft glow um yeah that is uh i guess that's pretty much it so if i just uh, play the animation this is how it is going to look and at any point if you want to change the animation the look of the texture you can go to your mosaic blur over here and change it to square and if you view this animation this is how it is going to look right so um i guess that is um just about it that's how you can create this cool animation just make sure you connect it up with this media out like so and it can work with the text as well so if you drag in a text tool over here connect it up and just uh, start typing something if you with this this is how it is going to look so that is pretty much it for this video guys i hope this video is helpful thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one